Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As you will see in a moment, I am unable to generate any image using Midjourney because my Midjourney trial is over. Now, they are asking me to subscribe in order to generate more images. I know that you all are facing this as well, and looking for a free alternative which produces some stunning and beautiful images. You have come to the right place, because today we are going to take a look at an amazing tool which is free and comes with tons of features, fine-tuned models and styles. First of all, open your browser and search for Leonardo AI. Open the first link. You will see a web page like this. Now, enter your email here and click the Count Me In button. After this, you will receive a confirmation email and on the website you will see Join Discord button. It is optional for you to join Discord because unlike Midjourney, you will not require Discord to generate images. Leonardo works right from their website which is a plus if you don't like to use Discord server to create AI images. Now, click on the Launch App button on the top. They will ask you whether you have enlisted or not. Simply click on Yes, I am whitelisted. After that, you will be asked to log in. Click on the Login button. You can either use Google, Microsoft account or you can sign up with your email and password. After logging in, you will have something like this on your screen. On the top, we have featured models which are basically the most famous fine-tuned models on the platform. Next, you have featured images which are generated by the users like you, using Leonardo AI. These images are really stunning and beautiful. One great thing about Leonardo AI is that you can click on any image you like and you will get all informations like which fine-tuned model was used, and even the prompt used to create that image. You can also use that image as a reference image for your own image creation. We will have a look at this feature in later part of this video. Let's see how do we create our first image using Leonardo AI. If you look at the left panel, you will see AI image generation. Under this window, you can see all options available to create your AI image. On the left panel, you have number of images which you want to be generated. Then you have the resolution of the image. And at the bottom you have the image to image button. Here, you can upload your own desired image to use as a reference. We will look deeply into this option in the next video. So stay tuned. I created some images earlier today. Some of them came out really great. This is our prompt input field. Then we have fine tuned model selector. Here, you can select your desired models to be used for image creation. To view all available models, click on Custom Models options over here. Go to the Platform tab. Here you will see all default Leonardo models which focus on different styles. Then, you have Community tab. Here, you have a lot of user-generated models. Oh yeah! One more thing I forgot to mention. You can create your own fine-tuned models in Leonardo AI. Let me know in the comment section if you want a video on how to create your own fine-tuned model. In this tab, I liked one community model very much. It's called Paper Art. Let me search it. Here it is. I'll just open it and click on Generate using this model. OK, our model is now loading. Now, let's enter our prompt. A mountain range with pine trees and small village, paper art. Remember, some models require you to add specific keywords into your prompt in order to give good results. In this prompt, I added paper art as the keyword for the paper art model. Let's look at the next option. Next we have style option. You can select Leonardo style or select none. I have noticed that some models work great with Leonardo style while others don't. So, you will have to experiment it yourself in order to get the best image. Then, we have negative prompt. This will be used to provide the information which we do not desire in our image. Next we have prompt magic which automatically adds bit more details to our simple prompt. I found it to work good in some prompts while sometimes it worsen the output of the image. So, you can experiment with this option.
Click on Generate button. And you will notice that we have got 241 tokens left out of 250. We get 250 tokens every day. One image creation consumes one token. Ideally, you will be able to create 250 images for free every single day, which is awesome. I'll speed up or skip the video when we have wait time for image creation to save your valuable time. Okay, our image is generated. I think it looks very unique. You can download this image using this button. Let's try to create the same image with prompt magic turned on. Whoa, the details of the image has been enhanced by a lot. If we look closely, we will find there is a small hut and the overall image really looks like it is made of paper. Let's try another model. I will click on the fine-tuned model button and select a custom model. Let's select this one. For the prompt, I will ask for a creative image of woman standing on a beach, realistic. I will leave prompt magic turned on for this one. And generate. Not impressive, considering we used prompt magic to enhance our prompt. The image is quite dull and boring. And the feet of the woman is in the air. Let's turn off prompt magic this time and try again. All right, this one is much better and true to life. It also shows the reflection of the woman on the wet sand. And the color science of the image is also good. Okay, I am going back to the home screen to take some community generated image as an inspiration for our next image creation. In the deliberate model, if you scroll down, you will see all the featured images created using this model. All images look great, but I will pick this one. As you can see, we can copy the prompt used to create this image or we can use this image as reference by clicking on image to image button. Then we have negative prompts. Let's click image to image. Here I'll turn off the prompt magic because we already have a detailed prompt as well as a reference image. As you can see, the AI created a very similar image to the original one. Let's make some changes to the prompt to make it different. I'll replace beauty with man with beard. All right, our image is created and it looks amazing. As you can see, it demonstrates a man with a beard in the similar style as the reference image. That is it for today's video. Leonardo AI is a great tool which has a lot of potential and offers some of the best AI models to create images. In the next video, we will have a deeper dive into the image to image creation and I'll also show you how you can create AI image with specific pose. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.